Today, I'm going to show you how you can write and spice up your R&B bass lines. I'm working on an R&B joint myself right now, so I thought, why not show you guys what I'm working with, how I'm writing the bass line, and what you can do to make yours sound better today. I'm using one of my chord progressions from my pack, Popular Progressions, and what we're going to do is we're going to start by just following the root notes of each chord with our bass line. Cool, so that's one way and that's the obvious way to write a bass line and it sounds okay but it doesn't sound that interesting does it so how can we spice it up well there's two ways the first way is with rhythm and the second way is with movement what do i mean by these well let's tackle the first one first so we're going to use the same notes that we played just a moment ago but we're going to establish a rhythm and play that rhythm on each note okay so something like this So already we can hear that it's starting to add a bit more interest to the track. Uh, it's adding a bit more bounce. It makes, it makes you want to dance a bit more, you know? Well, it makes me want to dance a bit more anyway. I like to dance. I don't know about you. But the second way is to add movement to the track. And this is the big way. This is the main takeaway from this video today. How do we create movement in our track? Think of it like this. Each chord is like a train station. And to get from one train station to the other, we need to, to move. So how do we make that, that journey a bit more interesting? And we can do that with our bass line. Okay, so we can spice up those middle parts and, and we can use the bass line to, to, to get us to the next station, if that makes sense. So the way I like to do this with an R&B bass line, and it's, this works with gospel, uh, soul, and any music kind of around that kind of genre, is to use what I call like a, a chromatic walk-up or a chromatic, um, chromatic passing notes, okay? So the movement is this, tone, semitone, destination. Okay, so let's put it into into perspective. Let's put it into an example. Okay, so in part of our chord progression, we're moving from an F to a B. How do we get from the F to the B? What we can do, consider F as the, the A station and consider B as the B station. We play our F and then to get to that B, we're going to play tone, semitone, destination. Okay, so that's the tone below the destination the semitone below the destination and then arrive at the destination. So it's a nice little chromatic walk up. Now we can place that in a couple places in this chord progression. Let me show you. That's pretty much it. There are many other ways to get to your destination, however, to make that journey between each train station or each note a bit more interesting. But if you want to learn about these different types of, of ways and how to spice your music up in these manners of fashion and also other musical techniques, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. That way, I know I'm making the best content for you guys. These can be how to write synth lines, chord progressions, bass lines, drum patterns, anything like that. Let me know in the comment section below and we can have a conversation about that and I can look into making videos around those things. Cool, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell button so you can get notifications when I do post. I post pretty much every week, but I might post in between uh, my usual schedule as well. Thank you guys for watching, I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.